experienced referee is Mr. Jerry Evans from Bishop Briggs. Cast join the centre of the field against Salvatore. And there's Bruno's first tackle on Moira. That's for Robertson. Back it goes to Weir. Good save by Gorham. David Weir playing the one-two there with John Robertson wasn't picked up on the run. A very good effort, well saved by Gorham. First and Jury of a battle. Jury gets the ball and Tess Russe. He'll be very happy at that first save. And down goes Ludwig again. The culprit was Bruno. Bounce of space away from Bruno. Now he wants to attack the Italian. Down he goes again. Well, the treatment really is very severe indeed, and Bruno will be in trouble this time. It's foul number three. And a yellow card. Now that will make life very difficult for Ennis. McCall wants the ball played forward. Julie also looking for an angle. Finished it well to get the Just shot in. Possession to Alec Clellan. The bad ball that by Bruno. There's Albert. Very close. Salvatore still in possession. That's for Alberts. Is onside. No, he's offside. It's chopped off and won't count. John McBride, the linesman, had the pass going away from Salvatore and Alberts. Very tight indeed. Perhaps half a yard only. Joining the attack when he can. Oh, that's great play by Loudrop. Here's Alberts. Great effort by Alberts. That was his weaker foot. Thinking that on the half volley there, and Rusi was certainly beaten away from Salvatore. Away from Mackay. Trying to do it all by himself. The save was made by Rusi, but it was Gascoigne that is vintage. Chance to run it goal. Good play by McCann. Bruno, who timed the tackle well again. That's good play, McCall played it in. What a goal by Jury. Inspired play by Rangers. From the set piece. Hearts were caught napping. Loader with a short corner. McCall deserves enormous credit for being there. But how about this for a finish from Gordon Jury? And McInnes in midfield, caught late by Poynton. He'll be in trouble for that. Well, the... the Third Hearts player to be booked in the match. No complaint, he was late and reckless with this one. Very late indeed. It's going. Richard Goff on the right hand side. Loads up ahead of him. May go himself here. Finished up to be a very good chance that for Goff. McCall. Very awkward one for him to control there. Kept in by Jury. Well tackled by Bruno. Petric, very commanding in the air at the back for Rangers. Bruno lets that go. And Richie was concerned, I think, about any contact with Judy. Low drop still going forward, but it won't count because the whistle has gone. Now, Pasquale Bruno is ordered off. Bruno is ordered off. A second yellow card. Inevitable. His first three challenges of the match were all fouls. That bit a yellow card in ten minutes. And really, the smiling reaction, I think, does him less than credit. He's let his team down, there's no doubt about that. And yet, he sees fit to smile and applaud to the crowd. Now, half's down to ten men. We're just a minute into the second half. And an act of folly completely here. There was Gordon Jury, quite clearly pulled back by Bruno as he broke into the on the field but that didn't work and now allowed up without his shadow Gascoigne getting away from Weir Gascoigne again taking all the time in the world to score number two well he showed all the composure all the skill enough pace patience all the attributes you could want 
to make it 2-0 to Rangers. So we're three minutes into the second half. David Weir tried to bring him down outside the area, couldn't manage that. Gilles Rousset was taken out of the play by a neat sidestep, and then the ball was lashed home. Third of the season for Gascoigne, another excellent goal. Few better in that position, attacking defender, attacking goalkeepers. Victor Gascoigne this time, he lost him initially. Here's Neil McCann now with a decent chance. Swallowed up on the left. Jury going through the middle. Cleland on the right hand side. Here's Jury. And Rousset made the block but couldn't hold it. Well, claim the penalty. Fouled by Jury. Jury and David Weir exchange a few words there. Well, this is just total folly. I mean, we're talking here about experienced professional players. Why in the world would they come involved in that? A red card for David Weir. And Rousset coming after Jury. Now, this is equally foolish. I mean, this is incredibly stupid stuff. Well, the harsh discipline is in tatters here as David Weir makes the lonely walk off. Well, it really was very sad. Clear foul there by Julian McPherson, no doubt about that. Then Weir took the ball away. Now, let's see the tangle here which caused the problem. With a backhander there on Jury. That was the problem. Then the smile. What these smiles are about, I really don't know in these circumstances. An exchange there. Nine men now on the outside. He's onside. Turned away by Poynton. Point and complaining about offside. What's this all about? I mean, Hearts have lost the place. This is just incredible stuff here. And this is not a very healthy situation now altogether. Graham Allison, a grade one referee, explaining to Jerry Evans what's happened. And there's going to be trouble for Pointing. Of that, there can be no doubt at all. Dave McPherson to the cross with a bit of applause, sarcastic applause. Now, what's going to happen to him? This is just madness. Yellow card for Poynton and a red card. He's been booked already, you see. He's been booked already. The Jim Jeffries comes to the touchline. He wants to speak to the assistant referee who's involved. He's invited back to the dugout. The assistant referee is now drawing the referee across again. Well, now, it appears to be Paul Ritchie. Richard Goff tried to calm down the Hearts players, but Paul Ritchie is in trouble. Something happening off the ball. It is a red card for Ritchie. Seven. Paul Ritchie goes off. Graham Allison from the free, the assistant referee. One. Richard Goff is doing all he can to calm the situation down, but I think if one more player is ordered off, the game must stop. Chris Robinson, the chairman of Hearts, is down in the track, and he wants the game stopped. I think. Well, now this could have serious repercussions. It really could. There's Chris Robinson talking to Jim Jeffries. Now it looks as though he wants the players to come off, the Hearts players to come off, and if he does that, I think there will be very serious trouble. The Hearts board there, Chris Robinson with Les Porteous, secretary, in the director's box. The Hearts chairman clearly very disturbed at these events. Gossett comes here, McCoy retrieves. He'll want a shot at goal, you can be sure of that. And it's goal number three. He's stepping away from Frail, drilling the ball at the far post. There's Van Vossen. Alberts. McCoy. Rusi did so well there, stealing that away. Rather obvious, the pass intended for Gascoigne. The referee brings the game to a halt. It's a game 
which will be remembered for all the wrong reasons, for the loss of discipline on the part of Hearts in the second half. Jim Jeffries will be concerned about that.